What's up everyone, Sag here, and today I'll be going over the shit show that is Unicorn MOTD. This has been going on for quite some time, but for now we're just going to be going over pools. A couple of things to note first off, when Unicorn first came out, it was disgustingly broken, so a few of us got together and made something called Bettercorn that removed the super OP stuff and added the custom exclusive pets. But others didn't like it, so they could refuse to play it for their sets. So now people have the choice of playing either Broken Unicorn or Better Corn. So essentially, I made it so you now had to know two variations of a pack. And to make things worse, the pack has since been changed, so it needed to be relearned again. And needless to say, it isn't as easy as just trying to buy the same five pets every game. My first match is against Hardy the Boss. We play our first games with Broken Corn, but he asks to play Better Corn for the rest of the set, and I agree. This whole era of Unicorn felt like the five stages of grief. Anger and denial come first, so I make better corn so I don't have to face the harsh reality of Unicorn. I bargain with all the players in my pool to play it. Depression sets in as basically all of them say no, except the Giga Chad Hardy, a fucking legend. And then acceptance, as I cannot delay my sets any longer and must play. My second match is against Ruihan, an absolute beast at Unicorn and just all around a really, really good player. And then I have to face off against Draco Bills, a long time name in the SAP community. Unfortunately, a lot of players from our pool dropped, and it's understandable as the state of Unicorn was unacceptable. Anyways, thanks so much for watching. Politely smack that like button's ass on your way out. And you know what? Have a wonderful day. Look for Team Spirit as well. Team Spirit's like the only other thing that I would want. I saw this sea serpent. Level 3, but he only gets two guys out of it. No, and I still am somehow able to win. Just barely. GG, Hardy. Hardy the boss. Let's go. Hardy actually wants to play better corn with me. So, this is going to be a lot different than Unicorn. Uh, I've played a bit of it, though. You definitely don't want to level up on turn two, that's for sure. We take triple axe handle. If he buys even a single double, we just win. Uh, you definitely don't take a level up on turn two. A food dog is pretty good. Slime, tree. Uh, there's some other stuff that's pretty good. He's definitely not going to take the double now. Uh, Probably go with the sneaky egg. Wow, double axe handle. That's pretty crazy. Probably put all these suckers up front. Yeah, we're going to want, like, Deer Lord. Uh, Skeleton Dog's okay. Pegasus is pretty good with, like, Slime. Tree is solid, like I said. He's not going to combine anything. Oh, wow, I just fucking lose, too. That witch's broom was kind of crazy. Uh, I like brain cramp. I think it's pretty decent. Wall chicken on this bad boy is good. Oh, I, I should have combined that axe handle into here instead. Oopsie. Yeah, that witch's room uh, annihilated me. Because it's a random perk list, not backmost like Barghest. Barghest isn't even in this pack. Chubacabra is like kind of crazy. Uh, Rootling Hippocampus is really good. I think the berry is pretty good. The Sphinx is pretty good. Um, save for tier 4? Probably. My, my god, man. My, my good gravy. I'd like to put that on something, but... I don't know if it'll matter. Pick up Nightcrawler here. Oh, I really like Chubacabra.
think I'm going to do this instead. Definitely just need to take out the first guy with this. Oh, it still goes up to eight. What the hell? Okay, nice, nice. Yeah, Chupacabra Hippocampus is probably one of the best strats in this pack, I think. I suppose there could be better. Good tiger bug or fairy? I do enjoy tiger bug, but with with the way that I'm using Chupacabra. Hmm. Probably just go fairy. Empty front space. How about that? Oh, there's Foo Dog. And Dear Lord. I think I'm going to go with a Foo Dog here. What would I rather have up front? Maybe this? Dear Lord is like insane for... Not Skeleton Dog, but it's good with that. But Kappa, I think that's like probably the, the biggest thing. There she blows again. Nurikabe is really strong. This motherfucker. Loveland Frogman. I suppose the jump build still uh, works a little bit for this. Wow, I kind of got pooped on there. Ooh, another food dog. So this health potion, I think, is going to be very good. We'll take that food dog. Definitely take this chupacabra. Finally get it to level two. Uh, I don't think I'm going to gingerbread man. Guess I'm going to put Food Dog up front. No, because these are both four attack. doesn't really matter. How about we put the big axe handle up front? So I suppose next turn we really just want to find Hippocampus and probably Rootling because it got double Food Dog hit. Probably like my best bets. He's going with the full summon team, which is really good. Give me that health, baby. Okay, porridge. No, I think I just want to look for my good fellows. Come on, a tier four, perhaps? I'm going to buy this. <laughs> Not this guy. What? What? <laughs> Excuse me? Did it, did I see only one tier 4 this turn? Other than Worm of Sand? Oh, that, that has to be like the worst turn I've ever had. Gotta be one of the worst. I mean, shit. I, I would have taken like, you know, Tiger Bug. I, I would have taken a Visitor probably. I definitely would have taken another fairy. Couldn't take this warm of sand if I wanted to. The old mouse is probably not what I want to do. Not as a 1-6 anyways. Ooh, got the mimic. That's really bad to lose there. Three ten Kraken, that's probably not going to help me. If I level now, you normally want to level into, like, Quetzal, Team Spirit. I'll level now, though. Oh, good, <laughs> good gravy. Maybe I should have hit the Drink Me Liquid first. There's Visitor. Maybe run double Chubacabra for a second. I 
I don't know, I think I'm getting pooped on here. Getting extra gold. The Pegasus is doing pretty well for him. Magic Carpet seems really good. He's leveling up the Sphinx. Uh, kind of, kind of crazy. We didn't see. I feel like I hardly saw any tier fours. Not no like a bomb, no tassel worm. We saw the Kraken. Kraken's not good for my team though. <laughs> it's great for his team. Fucking bad for my team. I need as much health as I can muster. Mustard. Okay, that's pretty good. Oh, he got out. He got the rootling. He got rid of his Pegasus, though. I think you. I suppose he couldn't really find anything to make it work. Uh, we're on tier five. I'm gonna need some tier fives. You really gonna make me pick up Loveland Frogman? This is kind of rough. You ask me, we'll go for level three of you, I guess. Okay, we can get the level two frogman. I need hippocampus so bad. Or, or I, I would take a lot of other things too. I would take quite a few other things, I think. Maybe I wouldn't. Maybe I'm hard rolling too much. Just with level three Chubacabra, like we, we have, and he can, he also can never get a double. And he also has never bought a double. Maybe that's making it really awkward for him because of the axe handle hound. I can see that being really awkward to play around. Oh wow, he did get the Kraken, which is just super solid. Oh, and I lose here. He gets double money for Mimic. Okay, we can level up Food Dog, that's for sure. Cerberus. I don't really want a Cerberus, and I definitely can't grate one. Um... No, that doesn't really work either. Putting him up front feels kind of bad. Maybe I do just grab Cerberus. Just because he's a, a dude. A dude that I can buy. Oh, that Kappa's rough. <laughs> it's so much money from that Mimic, it's crazy. The, the crazier part is that I think I would still buy a Hippocampus if it presented itself to me. Or a tier 6, maybe? Not this one. This one won't be able to do anything for me. Unfortunate. Phoenix? I might just have to buy that. There's a large guy. Mm, buying another frogman. I suppose I can do something like this. My, my Loveland Frogman not looking too hot right now. Oh, dude, we got another jump out of that. That's sick. Wait, that's actually so cool. I need something good. 
Petzl here would level either Brain Cramp or Chubacabra. It's also a 216. It's kind of nuts. I guess I'll buy it. Mm, perhaps hold that one. Could con Pito Phoenix or the Frog, perhaps? No, I don't want to compito the Frog, I don't think. Yeah, you you're a little late, Rootling. A little fucking late. Hmm. I think I just have to buy this. This level 2 cap is going to kill me. I swear to God it is. Oh, there's the team spirit. I don't have anything to sell to be able to get it. That's sad. Yeah, I might just die here. That's not the one I wanted to get hit either. Oh, uh, we do get another trigger out of that. I mean, he's given me multiple triggers on my brain cramp, which is really nice. Oh, that'll be enough health. Thank you. He got level three mimic. How much money is he getting out of that? That's got to be like crazy, right? Probably sell my, my frog, man. Wow, another Quetzal. So it's going to hit it with double experience. If I sell Phoenix, that should level up Brain Cramp to level 3, I think. I think that's how that works. But I could very well lose from doing this. Because this is a lot of health and not a lot of attack. I feel like literally all I needed was a single hippocampus. Which is kind of crazy. One hippocampus and I like easily win this. Like I would have picked it up on this turn. I think I just have to hope he doesn't out -cap on me. I suppose the, the Kraken takes out a bunch of the health and then just Chupacabra refills it. And switch it up to the front. I still get a double trigger out of it. Oh, that's level two though. That might be too much. Oh, we tied! That's crazy. Yeah, that's actually absurd. And now I just need to look for a... Tier 3. Not that one. I kind of like Basilisk, maybe? Yeah, I think I like Basilisk a lot, and I can do this, and it'll turn the Kappa into a rock, so we won't get any value out of it. It's gonna have to do me. Gonna have to do me here. <laughs> All the health is gonna go to these two as well, the Brain Cramp. I guess the Brain Cramp being at 38 doesn't matter that much. Yeah, I just don't want him to get any Kappa value. I suppose I didn't want him to get any value off of any of his front guys. This Mimic is actually giving him so much gold, though. I can't... I don't even know what he's doing with all that gold. 
It scares me to even think about it. Eat Me Cakes would have been pretty good on these two. You know what else would have been pretty good? A Hippocampus. Yeah, it's a super solid hit there, I think. Mm, this might be enough. Oh, he gets all oh, his poor rabbit. Oh my god, that, that game was a clincher, that's for sure. GG Hardy. This, I think this is like the best mid-game that you can do and transfer into Quetzal. Uh, what's the other one? You know what I'm talking about. God, 33. Oh my god, that was just nasty. GG, Hardy. And with that, we lock in our first win against Hardy DeVos. Chupacabra is just the MVP of better corn. But now I have to face off against Ruihan, and he's not messing around. He wants to play Broken Corn, and of course, I have to agree. So the game plan for Broken Corn is to get as many Ogopogos, Lucky Cats, and Bigfoots as you can to be able to pivot into Cyclops, Mana Hound, and Chimera. And then all you really need is enough gingerbread men to fill a house, team spirits, more Cyclopses, and potentially Sea Serpent. And that's what you have to do every single game. Enter Hard Roll City, ride the High Roll Train to Pound Town, population, your opponent. Or we'll make my team big enough, rather. No, he had to keep the Furbang Trout. Okay, so we should just win this game. Oh, wait, it's only 16. There's 16... What? I don't even know. Okay, no, no, we should be big enough here. For sure, for sure. Okay, I don't know what the, ha the hell happened between the first game and the second game. Um, but sometimes it just feels so incredibly one-sided. Oh god, that hit 24. My god. Wow, the 1 HP breakpoint is crazy there. Yeah, with I without Chimera, if he would have hit Chimera and Cyclops there, I think he could have easily started coming back. Is this game 4? I can't even remember what game this is. No, probably just take the egg. Sneaky, sneaky. Reminds me of Twitch. From League of Legends, not the streaming platform. Please take a double. <laughs> I, all the good players never take doubles, but maybe this time he'll take a double. Yes! <laughs> Finally! Right, we, we caught him off guard. We haven't bought that many uh, axe handles, so... He didn't know. Oh, beautiful. Yeah, that's sexy. Probably run it up front, too. All right. This is... I think you I think you want this one the most. It, it has to be. It has to be the one you want most on turn two. Highest base stats. I suppose if you have a bar guest, then you want Ogopogo just because it's a 1-5. I don't know, I think Lucky Cat just sets you up the best, but maybe, I, I, I know nothing. I, I don't know if you should trust me, or any of the words that I say. Oh, that's really bad. He didn't get nothing there. I mean, Ice Wolf is probably the fourth best one to get. But that's, you know, that's not saying much. Come on, give me Ogopogo. I think I skipped this Bigfoot. Oof. Alright then. Next turn we'll find Gingerbread Man for sure. For sure. I suppose um, it doesn't matter too much. He didn't he didn't hit anything, so we're both gonna. This is probably gonna be a long game, I think. Unless he buys a double. <laughs> if he, oh god, if he buys a double, he's gonna be sleeping with the fishes. Oh, 
Oh, he did buy a double. He's setting up. Yeah, buying the double is so bad. Yeah, I guess I'll buy this axe handle. Okay, good, good. I at least got you. Yeah, probably freeze this. Just combine here. Run it up front. No, I'll probably run Sneaky Egg up front. With the way that he's looking. Um, it's going to be really awkward, too, because he wants... I would think that he would want to get rid of his Bakus on this turn, or he's going to lose again because of Axe Handle Hound. Also needs to find a Wall Chicken. Needs to combine on this turn, which won't give you anything good unless it's Mana Hound. I guess Wyvern is a possible take. It just looks very awkward for Rihan here. I have two level ups for next turn, too, if I hit Cyclops on either of them. I think Cyclops, Rock, or Chimera is, like, things that I want. Maybe I take a Vampire back, go crazy a little. No, he was able to find that, but I don't know how good that was. Hitting the tie there is insane for him. 810, that's a big boy. Oh wow, that's a that's a wyvern here. So I think this is this is allowable. Because you have such a a higher chance to hit what you want. <laughs> or I could just get fucking nothing. Tiger bug tatzel worm. You know me, how I how I get down. So it's probably Lucky Cat up front. Tiger Bug there. This is interesting. Uh, normally I don't do this. Normally I would not do this, but... Oh, we hit the Chimera. Um, that'll do me. I mean, getting the win is, is just good. While I look for my other things. We don't need Axe Handle Hound. It, he's just going to keep getting rid of it. Or he's not going to run doubles anymore. Like almost guaranteed. Wow, that's that's nuts though to hit this. So now it's a level 3. This does 6 damage. Which is juicy. Could always replace it for that, but... 11-13 Okobo. How is this thing so fucking big? Oh, Skeleton Dog keeps buffing it too. He got a bunch of stats off of... What, what was his name? I forgot already. Baku. The Wall Chicken ba Baku. This sucker is going to be large though. Honestly, Minotaur would just be better than Tatsuorm here, I think. Because it gets 3-3 for each of this attack, and I have Tiger Bug. Probably so much better just to have those big stats. I would imagine. No! No, I needed that win. Ooh, nice. Okay. Uh, maybe I'd get rid of that. Oh, very nice. Sure, I'd like to. Hmm, Patzel Worm. I mean, we're ahead. I don't think I need to stress or anything. Um, this is still anyone's game for sure. How do you only deal six damage? Are you a tier four? I swear to God, they thought like the jump mechanic was just going to be like game breaking with how weak a lot of them are. It's level 3 here? He does. But I get double mana off of that. Ugh. 
Ooh, I don't even get the tie. He made that sucker so big. Nope, none of those. I'll go Poco is better than Tatsil Worm. And, and you cannot convince me otherwise. Yeah, I think it's a combine here. I mean, this levels up. I should probably just do this to get a big Chimera here. Nah, fuck this Ogopogo. I kind of love him, though. I'm torn. I'm very torn. Yeah, I think we'll just do this. Level him up. He gets, uh, like, four more mana this way. Oh, God. He got 22 mana. What the fuck? He rolled 11 times. Holy. That's a lot of times to roll. Okay, good. I kind of want to sell my Ogo Pogo. I think I will. One roll, one chocolate. Oh, even better. Gah. As Kutarba or Rekor would say. I'm absolutely going everywhere. Okay. Yeah, this is uh, very strong. Probably like the exact turn nine board you would want. Unless this was like a pixie you with that was one and a half. I think that's the only thing that you would probably want more of. So this is like a guaranteed win this turn. And we kind of just have to keep doing that. Just keep winning. Okay. Um, I'm going to go here with it. Could get uh, Team Spirit. Nope. That's fine. Uh, I can hold this chocolate because I can just buy this. Buying Pixie you. Mm, it would feel good. I don't, I don't think there's anything else that I would potentially buy. So if I could get this to one and a half. No, I would have needed a gingerbread man too, now that I think about it. Nah, I'll just do this then. Probably just that. Yeah, look for gingerbread next turn. Along with Team Spirit. Yeah, Gingerbread Team Spirit, Chocolate. Maybe Sea Serpent? I don't know. He... No, it was only five. I was about to say, I think he rolled so much. He did not, though. This should be another guaranteed win. Now, I think maybe... Well, I don't know. I think I just hard roll for stuff. I have I have enough lives to look for everything. He was just he I mean, he didn't find stuff as quickly as I did. Well, what a fucking pack. <laughs> what a fucking pack. It, uh, let me tell you what. He just didn't find stuff as quickly as me. That's that's how you know you've got a good pack on your hands. Okay. Um I could just level this up. You know what I'm saying? Sea Serpent. No, I want Team Spirit. No, I don't want more of you. <laughs> What's wrong with you? Could sell it just to buy it. It'll give this guy more mana. Now, fuck this guy.
just who I needed to see. I mean, we rolled a lot, too. Ten rolls, so this might just be enough to do it. The second Cyclops also just gives more mana. How many times did he roll? Nine? That might not be enough. 32, 36. If it stays at 24, no, he got it to level three. Uh, we might just tie this turn then. No, I think I just barely make it out. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Unicorn pack in a nutshell right there. Another game won. That's a good sign. Next, we face off against Draco Bills on the patched version of Unicorn, which is played totally different. Now, I was forcing a lot of Wharf builds, but there are still a few different ways to play it. First, you still have the EXP package, albeit much weaker with Gingerbread, Cyclops, and Lucky Cat nerfs, but it's still usable. Then there is the mana build, which I think is the strongest, using Wharf and Rock for the early and mid, and then transitioning into Sea Serpent and other strong tier 6s for the late game. And then we have the jump builds, which are insanely strong if you get all the pieces, but without Loveland Frogman, it gets decimated by most other builds. Please, God, help me. Unfortunately, that's all I really know what to do with this pack. Game 2, baby, game 2. Okay, we just start off with the wharf this time. That's what I like to see. I could just skip this entirely. Yeah. I'll go Bunyip this time instead. He's also taking the wharf. I wonder why. Why would he ever do that? It's not even good. Yeah, we're going to do it this way, I think. No, I'm not going to take that Bunyip. Damn fucking axe handle hound. Dude, this thing's still insane. I hate it so much. Just because it's so good. Okay, we needed that tie just not to lose the early rounds. He leveled up again on turn two. Seems to be doing that quite a bit. Mmm, skeleton dog again. I do, I think I do just appreciate a skeleton dog here along with the Bigfoot. Yeah, this seems fine. I can skeleton dog here. Try to hit one of one of these. You know what? I'm I'm gonna go with that. All of all three of these would die. There's no way that they don't, right? I guess it's preferable to have Alchemides in back too. Probably. We just want uh, skeleton dog to hit wharf. I think most of the time. Oh, that fucking blows. Okay, well now I can just put Skeleton Dog at the back. That'll be easy. Uh, would I ever buy this wall chicken? Maybe I would. It depends. I guess maybe picking up my own ghost kitten was probably fine. Okay, now I gotta pick up the... The Thunderbirds. Probably put Bigfoot back here. Because he has double, double drop bear, so it's more likely to die. Well, now it's only single drop bear. Okay, Bigfoot, you're, you're fucking killing me. You're yanking my dick. Okay. You're gone. I, I just hate Skeleton Dog. I think it's so bad. We're going to do this since it's opening shop. Perfect rock. I mean, I think we have to keep Bigfoot. Maybe I just get rid of the Wyvern. No, no, because we, we have a chance to find more, I think. Fuck this wall chicken. Right, maybe not. I love that wall chicken. Now we can put him in the back. Here we go. So people, people try to use Ghost Kitten to counter Wharf, but I just feel like it doesn't get hit enough for it to really matter, you know? Okay, that's fine. We're still building. Like I said, building. 
I mean, I think at this point, I just want the other rock, and we play them separately like this. Look for a gingerbread man. Okay, that's pretty sad. I'll take this guy, though. Need more snipes. Would really like wharf to level 3. Would like rock to level 2. So yeah, we're just on the hunt for gingerbread man at this point. I'm I'm honestly surprised that he went the jump build again. But maybe it makes sense. Nice hit. Okay, I, I'll take a tie. He's setting up for levels, though, again for Frogman, I believe. Ooh, I really like Unicorn. Very much like Unicorn. I think I'm going to do this. Grab the Unicorn. Oh, there's Wharf here, too, and Wall Chicken. I think we just Wall Chicken this turn. And then I'll hold the Wharf. Oh, come on, dude. We really need this. Um, what am I looking for again? Gingerbread Man, dude. Gingerbread Man. The tier 3. What's going on here? Kraken is going to be really good if he ever, like, gets stats. But for now, I think, like, we're okay. 1015 Rock is pretty fucking fat, though. <clears throat> I think I would still Gingerbread Rock first. Since it's already so big. 1015. I really just need this to kill, like, one thing. I've got four snipes. I mean, like, Tatsil Worm is probably the best thing to kill. Or Tiger Bug, if I had to say. It's just so good because you get all the snipes, and then... And then it dies. And then you get another, like, giant snipe. He did get frog. Which is a little worrying. Holy shit. Okay, I have to do this now. That's a big boy. And we'll save this for next turn, I think. I could technically get it in now, sell Bigfoot, but I think I still want to find Gingerbread Man. My god. Maybe maybe I'm not getting it. Maybe Gingerbread Man is out of out of my reach, out of my domain. No, let's go again. I think I think I have to keep it this way. His drop air is getting big. I mean, his other stuff is getting big, too. So, I mean, at this point, if I do level up into... Uh, what's his name? Sea Serpent. That's probably really good. Hello? I mean, I think I kind of want to do it. Or at least, like, hold him on standby. Oh, there's Ogopogo here, too. Hmm. Six. That's enough. Twelve to kill the drop bear. I don't know. I think I'm going to hold it for now. Bro, at this point, I'm just going to level this shit up. Okay. That's really strong. I might just keep... All of this, maybe? And then put Sea Serpent up front, warp second rock here, perhaps? That seems like it could just be good. Oh my god, I killed the frog, man! That's crazy. Oh my god, in the jackalope jump first. Uh, we finally got our gingerbread, man. So I think I can just get rid of Bigfoot, right? And do this. I mean, that just seems solid. This is going to get hit by six, like, no matter what. And then Wharf is going to hit some, like, sort of, uh, take some damage off of them. Just seems solid to me. Now I want, like, Bad Dog, I think. I think? Would I want this Mana Potion? Probably not. Yeah, so we can, we can like, chunk them a little bit with Wharf. 
I mean, even if it gets hit like a, it should theoretically get hit hit at least three times. Maybe they should be swapped. No, Sea Serpent has to be up front, and we don't want it to be buffed at all. I think we want it to die like very easily. So I think that makes sense. The more health he gets on his Loveland Frogman, the more it's going to be targeted by Sea Serpent. Yeah, I, I just don't think the jump build is good enough. Maybe Ghost Kitten with um, Fairy Dust or whatever. Pixie Dust? What is, what is it called? Fairy Dust? Could have been pretty good. Oh, wow, it all got hit. Interesting. Wow, we win with one HP. Oh, my God. Okay. Yeah, that's 100% going to you. Wow, another Sea Serpent. I mean, I might as well hit it, right? Cerberus? Hmm. I don't really want it to all get hit again. I can't believe all six hit the Sea Serpent, which is just bad. We we want a few more other things to get hit. I might take the Hydra, sell the Unicorn. Actually, we could do Slepnir. No, I'm taking the Hydra. I think I think it's better. We already have so many uh, mana guys. This is probably fine. You're going to get hit in the back, so we'll do it this way. 16's a big number. Dude, you can't keep letting the Jackalope jump before the Tiger Bug. Oh my god. Behemoth's so large, too. Oh, you know I'm going straight after that fucking jackalope. <laughs> He's fucking dead to me. All right, GG Draco. Good games. And with that, I move on to bracket with a nice record. I didn't have to face Lightmare because we agreed to tie as we were already locked in to move on. So tune in next time for the exciting conclusion. Will I become the first unicorn master of the dojo, or will I lose in some ridiculous fashion? Thank you so much for watching. Politely smack that like button's ass on your way out. And you know what? Have a wonderful day.